boat. We're gonna yank the pole off the boat. Wow! Wow! There's number four. So there he is. Let's see if we can get him to swim off. There he took off. Good morning, everybody. Another beautiful Saturday. Well. Technically, it's still dark, so I can't tell you if it's a beautiful Saturday, but it's supposed to be. I am uh, just getting the day started here, getting ready to get my coffee going and go fishing. Uh, the goal today originally was going to be to go fishing and do a catch and cook and everything with you, but... I have a birthday party to go to tonight uh, for a buddy of mine, so uh, the cook part of the catch and cook might not happen till tomorrow, uh, or I may make this video just a, uh, a complete mix of both Saturday and Sunday, and hopefully I'll get something nice to cook, and we'll see how it goes, so stay tuned everybody. Well, good morning again. This is a much later start that I wanted to get. It's 1040 now. Um, <laughs> when I woke up at 4 this morning. But I did end up, uh, you know, after I had my coffee, I went to the gym for an hour, which I didn't originally plan to do. Um, and now I actually am at the Bass Pro here. Because I need a pair of hook pliers. Um, my hook pliers essentially rusted just from saltwater exposure over the last year and a half and uh, I broke in half the last time I tried to use them to get a hook out so I definitely need to get a pair of those um, I tried to take my needle nose pliers with me from my toolbox the last time I went fishing and that was a terrible idea those definitely don't work nearly as well so I ended up having to just uh, leave the leader stuck in a couple fish and that was not not ideal at all so getting a pair of hook pliers and then we will head over to the park and get some fishing going so stay tuned all right well finally made it out into the water i'm in a little uh, little cove i found last week off the main channel that runs off of the uh, kayak launch Passed by a guy already, asked me if he had any luck, said he caught a couple reds, but they weren't of keeper size, which that seems to be my biggest problem too. He's like, oh, it's all good. I just like catching them. I said, yeah, but I like eating them. So that's not all good for me. I want to catch ones I can actually take home. But anyway, I think we'll, uh, we'll get, I think I got a good spot here. I'm going to put two lines out and see what happens okay. I did make it to Bass Pro uh, you saw I was at Bass Pro earlier so I, I did end up getting a hook remover thing uh, there's this little gimmick I've seen online I've seen it work online um, I don't know if it's actually true I did get another pair of actual pliers though that this is the same pair I had since I think I'm just going to WD-40 them every time I go fishing now because obviously they don't like the salt water. And I got a fish stringer, a metal fish stringer this time. I had one of the rope ones put it uh, the teeth of a couple jack that I caught. It basically shredded the rope. Um, and then it just ended up going in the trash. So it's all right. Let me get these things opened up and get some lines out here and see what I can catch today. So, you know, high tide was uh, like 7.30 this morning or 6.30 this morning. I can't remember. And it's supposed to be going out all day. And, of course, I'm well behind what I thought it was going to be. And uh, I guess low tide is at about 1.15. It's 12.30 right now. So I'm sitting in uh, maybe a foot of water. <laughs> like, not even a foot of water right here. Like... Well, maybe that's 13, 14 inches of water, but still, I could step out of the canoe if I really had to. <laughs> oh, check this out. So 
a little baby crab, and then there's two good sized blue crab. They're like facing off at each other, all bowed up. One's walking backwards, one one's walking forwards. So I don't know if they're about to fight or what's going on. Oh, now they're separating. I almost want to just grab the dip net and see if I can scoop them up. I should have thought about that when they were closer. Of course, I don't know where I'd put them here on the canoe. Yeah, the crab, maybe something uh, took, our, took away that shrimp, left just the shell and the tail. That seems like the work of a crab. Well, we might go move and find a new spot. Not seeing any action or anything biting here yet. There's a little hiding spots back here. I never knew we were here. As a person who grew up fishing at Simmons Park uh, only from land until about six months ago, it's always so fascinating when I come back in some of these mangroves and find little coves and cubbies or whatever you want to call it. Just little areas you never knew were here. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Big mullet jumping up there. Feel like we might be getting skunk today. That came out way too late. That looks like an awful lot of rain out there on the other side of the bay. And probably not too far out, actually. It might be wise for me to actually head back to land. Or at least be close by, just in case. I guess from where I am, I'll just go out into the bay and come back in. Alright, well, I 
I'll circle back around. There's the uh, kayak launch right over there. And I uh, still got nothing. I've been fishing off and on as I've made my way back here, but no bites yet. I did see a guy just pull something in. It looked like a catfish though. But uh, back in the main channel, kind of tucked against one side. I got one line kind of under these mangroves here and the other one's out over here. Just trying to see if I can get anything before I get out of here. Those rain clouds are there, but I guess they're just passing by. So far, no rain yet. But like I said, I'm close by. If it starts to Starts to drip, I'll just paddle back in. Definitely think I got out here too late today. but it got off. It jumped and let it go. Baby redfish. Not skunked. Well, that makes me happy. Even if I can't keep it, not being skunked is always important. something was biting, I'm going to just put this other line over there too. Just put that right there. Okay, which way? Got her. Tiny redfish. That's probably only... 10 inches, maybe? That's a very, very small redfish. That guy's definitely got to go back. Oh, come here. Chill out, little guy. Question is, how badly are you hooked? And there's the hook removed, and he looks okay. So there he is. See if we can get him to swim off. There he took off. How's it going, man? camera over and everything. That is a much bigger redfish. He might actually be legal. Wow. Wow, that was great. Alright dude, alright dude, you need, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. I don't know why I'm talking to the fish, like it's gonna understand me and actually calm down. <laughs> Alright, 
come here, little guy. Or, it's actually not a little guy at all. It's a big guy. You're going to be delicious. All right. Well, let's see if we can get a few more of those. Right? I think I'm still only allowed to keep one, though. I forgot about that. So maybe not a few more of those. Still so much fun to catch. It doesn't matter if they're small or big. These going back. I don't know. Oh no. Well. I guess we'll keep an eye on him for a second, see if we see him pop up upside down around here anywhere. I don't think he's going to make it. Alright. Yeah, unfortunately, he's just going to go in the water and be food for something else. See if we can do that a third time. Four. Also, too small to keep. 
Oh good, he's only lip hooked. I can get that out without causing him too much harm. Because he's only lip hooked, we can show him off a little bit. Little, little redfish. All right, there he is. Take off. Nice. That's twice now I have tried to actually rig the other line up again, but haven't had time because I caught a fish. Now it's like, do I stop throwing shrimp in the water and tie up that other line or do I just keep, keep going hoping fish bite? most of the shrimp but there's still a little bite there let's see if anything goes after it okay i love catching fish but can we just give me a minute to tie the hook on someone in the comments is going to be like oh, you could have just stopped oh see that grabbed it but didn't hang on. It just probably just ripped that little piece of shrimp off. That's still a little bite there. This one doesn't feel as strong, it might be a little small. He's going back in the water. So here he is. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to make it either, though. He's just kind of... Oh, no. Oh, you're going to be food for something else, buddy. Circle of life, I guess. Try. I guess uh, we'd make number six if I get another one. Which, in the last 30 minutes, it seems all I gotta do is throw a shrimp out there and I'll catch one.
Oh yeah, there it is. No, nope, didn't take didn't take the hook. Sometimes I almost feel like I should tag these things, see if I'm catching the same one multiple times. Very nice. Still not big enough to keep, but very nice. And all the same. Alright, well. Like I said, it's about, it's already four o'clock. I'm gonna start heading back. I got the anchor up. I'm just kinda slowly trolling the, the bank. Tossing the line on every few minutes, just to see. Never know, something might bite it. But as soon as I stop paddling, the current tries to turn me around and take me back. The tide is definitely coming in. Yeah, I think the bite is over for the day. anchor all the way up and get all out of here. Salt water all over the lens. Hope the picture's not too bad. Oh man, the current's taking me over here into the bushes, not paying attention. It's gonna wash me up on one of the one of the campsites. speed as we can. Oh yeah, like a glove here. Touchdown. Alright. There we go. All the shore again. KC-135. Adam McDill. Go get the car and get loaded up and catch you back up in a second. Well, all packed up and heading home. That was a very, very fun afternoon. I thought I was skunked there for the longest time. <laughs> It'll probably be short for everybody here on YouTube, but for me, it was like three hours of nothing biting nowhere. And then all of a sudden, I just found the right spot, and uh, the redfish started one after the other. I think I ended up with seven that I caught, and then uh, obviously I only kept the one that I think was big enough. Hopefully it was. 
I gotta start bringing a ruler or a, a fish tape or something with me just to double check. Uh, it's not always is the, the good old eye good enough. But, uh, yep. Don't know if I'll come back out tomorrow now or not. I had planned to, uh, especially if I had a bad day today, but I had a great day. So we'll see. Tomorrow may just be, uh, I might end up smoking that redfish instead. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, you know, or, you know, if you learned something or whatever, just uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe if you can. I don't know what this person is doing in front of me. Anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, if you enjoyed what you're watching, give me a like. Uh, please subscribe. I need lots more of those to uh, get monetized. I'm only got 27, I think, so far. So we're trying to, I'd like to hit a milestone of 50. So please do subscribe and uh, join me on the next one.